So the city, uh, through its transformation fund, uh, invested roughly $2.8 million into the golf course. Uh, that $2.8 million uh, primarily added a new driving range uh, to the golf course, which has never uh, been here. And uh, as a result, reconfigured seven of the uh, existing holes, seven of the ex existing 18 holes. And um, on top of that, we added an entirely brand new irrigation system. That's a significant improvement. It's something nobody will ever see uh, in the public eye, but it's an important addition. I think the new course here is in great shape. Uh, they do an awesome job of, of keeping the greens in really great condition. Uh, I live right down the street in Alger Heights and I've played here many times before. Um, and it seems like the, the reopening has been a really great course now. Uh, the driving range is great, uh, which they didn't have before. This is where I came uh, when there was no place else to go to play golf, and I could come here and play and you know and be one with nature. So the the changes are a slightly shorter course. Uh, I think, in terms of obstacles, a little more difficult golf course with the addition of bunkers and how the topography fits in. Um, uh, the maintaining of all of these beautiful trees that they have always been on the golf course, 200-year-old oak trees and the like, so they've really done a very nice job of fashioning a new golf course that maintains its difficulty in a, in a little shorter format. It's close into the city. You don't have to go 10, 20 miles outside of the city to play. Um, it's in excellent condition. If you're new to the game, you have a great opportunity to, uh, to get to know the game at the driving range. Uh, our short game facility uh, accommodates almost every shot imaginable from inside 50 yards, uh, from a fairway shot to, uh, to numerous kinds of bunker shots, uh, to uh, shots out of the rough, uphill, downhill, you name it. Uh, you can practice it here on this, uh, this practice facility.